109A7 is a new artillery system for the U.S. Army. It is an upgraded version of the M109A6 Paladin. Formerly this system was known as M109A6 Pimber Paladin Integrated Management. First prototype was revealed in 2007. Unofficially the M109A7 is still being referred as the Paladin. Prototypes of the M109A7 underwent government testing, and in 2013 this artillery system was approved for low-rate initial production. A contract was issued to BAE Systems to upgrade first M109A6 systems to the M109A7 standard. The enhanced artillery system offers key fire support for a variety of potential combat missions conducted by the U.S. Army's Armored Brigade Combat Teams ABCTs, in conventional, hybrid, irregular and counterinsurgency combat environments. The M109A7 is supported by the Army as a vital technology enhancement program to maintain the combat capability of its ABCTs. The M109A7 will solve long-term readiness and modernization needs of the M109 family of vehicles through a critical redesign and production plan that leverages the most advanced technology available today. This state-of-the-art digital backbone and power generation capability provides a more robust, survivable and responsive indirect fire support capability for ABCT soldiers. Early prototypes had a roof-mounted 12.7mm heavy machine in a shielded position. However newer versions are fitted with remotely controlled weapon stations armed with the same 12.7mm heavy machine gun, which is now controlled from the inside of the vehicle under complete armor protection. Alternatively the heavy machine gun can be replaced by a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Prototypes of the M109A7 Hoitzer uses older chassis of the M109A6 Paladin. However, production version uses a brand new chassis. It shares engine, transmission, tracks, and some other components with the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Such commonality allows to reduce production, operating, and maintenance costs. This artillery system is powered by a Cummins diesel engine, developing 600 horsepower. It is mated to an automatic transmission. Thank you. 
The PIM modernization program includes upgrades to hull, turret, engine, and suspension systems to offer increased reliability, survivability and performance over the M109A6 artillery system. The upgraded system is capable of providing consistent fire support in all weather conditions. The PIM cannon is mounted on the chassis structure common to the Bradley tracked fighting vehicle. The vehicle is controlled by a crew of four and has an overall length of 9.7 meters, width of 3.9 meters, height of 3.7 meters, and maximum gross weight of 35,380 kilograms. It features digital backbone architecture and incorporates an on-board digital fire control system to provide fire mission and compute firing data to the M109A7 cannon system. It also consists of a position navigation system and a computer with comprehensive diagnostics programs. The new artillery system can select and take up firing positions and automatically unlock and point its cannon while on the move. The modernization effort also represents upgrades to space, weight and power cooling, swap C. The Paladin M109A7 artillery system is armed with a 155mm M284 cannon with an M182A1 gun mount and an automated loader. The 155mm artillery system can fire at a sustained rate of 1 round a minute, whereas the maximum rate of fire is 4 rounds a minute. The system has a range of 22 km with standard projectiles and 30 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. The self-propelled Hoitzer can also be equipped with fire precision munitions including the Excalibur and the Precision Guidance Kit. The Paladin M109A7 artillery system is equipped with shoot and scoot capabilities to offer protection for the crew against counter-battery fire. It is also fitted with an automatic fire extinguishing system, AFES, gunner protection kit, GPK, and an enhanced applied armor. The army, since it is worried about a conventional armored fight against Russia or China, is also trying to improve the Paladin's gun. It aims to enable the Hoitzer to fire at targets an astonishing 62 miles away. Lengthening the range of its new and existing land attack weapons programs, like the Paladin, is part of a new army strategy called multi domain battle. The Paladin is making a comeback. Armored battles were not as prevalent during counter insurgency fighting during the War on Terror. Counter-terrorism, drones, and special operations forces, plus air superiority, was the name of the game over the last 20 years. But now tanks and hoitzers, hearkening back to the Cold War era, will be the focus.